back in the morning time. And wow, you remember the first season of Cake Boss? Yes. We were infatuated with this show. I loved it. <laughs> he could make any cake. He could have made a replica of one of us. It is if eight seasons later, Rebecca. That's awesome. And last night was the debut of the eighth season with the one, the only, Buddy B. Hey, how you doing? How are you? Hey. Buddy, 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 buddy. Wow, you have no idea what big fans we are of you and your show, and oh my gosh, your cakes, everything. <laughs> well, what a great welcome, man! That was awesome. Thank you for having me. And and I have to say, even more so, we love your accent. Okay, <laughs> Leona Becker, fans of that accent. Hey, it's Buddy. You know. Hey, this is what we do. It's who we are. Yeah. So, how excited are you? You know, your your new season kicked off last night. Uh, you got a new season back. Season eight. Forget about it. It's, I mean, it's like a dream come true to think that it, uh, you know, it's been eight seasons since um, since, since Cake Boss. Wow. And two hundred episodes and so many cakes, so many great memories. I mean, it's almost like the history of my life. Like watching the last five years, six years. My kids growing up, my, you know, all the different, my business is growing. Um, it's been an awesome thing to have. I bet you did not even see this coming way back in the day when it first began, when they approached you and said, hey. Never. I could have never imagined it being what it is and how big it is. And, um, you know, thank God. It's, it's, it's been an amazing ride. Well, I've got to say, I was, a I was lucky enough to visit your, um, your uh, Carlos Bakery in Dallas. Recently. Oh, I love my store in Dallas. Yeah, Obviously. I took a pic with your cutout. <laughs> <laughs> so it's been so well received, you know. So now we're gonna listen. Texas has been so good to us. We want to continue to grow in Texas, you know. So we're looking at other locations throughout Texas. And I got to tell you, just whenever I come there, the fans are just amazing. They really make me feel at home and loved, and we love it. Oh my god! I need a picture with you. Actually, when do you come often to visit your different uh, bakeries? Um, I'm going to be out in Texas sometime in September. Um, so I'm usually there once a quarter, wow. depending on where my travels are. That, that, that's awesome that you get to visit uh, different, you know, people throughout the throughout the nation. You well, know how I mean? many are there now? How many Carlos bakeries are are in the U.S.? Thirteen. Dang. Holy cow. I try. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we watch Cake Boss so much. I, I We hear about the cannolis. We hear about the fondant. You know, I love the way you say it. I actually got to try a cannoli, and I brought one here to my partner, Leo, and he loved yeah, it. Yeah, she actually brought it in the car, like, from 300 miles away, and it still was awesome tasting. So, that, kudos that, to you. That's what we like to hear. <laughs> yeah, actually, cannoli, cannolis is one of our best sellers in Dallas. Nice. Well, it was definitely on point. So, you know, the show is called Cake Boss. I've always wondered, was that a name that was given to you by executives or is that a name that you chose for the show eight years ago? Well, I got to be honest with you. It's a funny story that you asked that. When they first told me the name, I didn't like it. Right. Because um, I was like, you know, I don't want to come off like arrogant or whatever because really not who I am. I'm, I'm a humble guy. I mean, I kid and I have fun, but I'm really a humble guy. I didn't want to come off like too arrogant. And um, after TLC, you know, I, I got to know TLC being a great partner and really just wanted me to be me and showing me in the light that they show me. I couldn't imagine my name being anything other than Cake Boss. I think it just fits so well because it's not really like, like I'm being a jerk. You know, it's, it's about right. me being who I am. Um, and I'm kind of a boss, you know. I mean, I am the boss. Right? <laughs> I'm to my and stuff. So uh, I think it fits. How, you know, from what we see on the show and what it actually, t I've always been curious. How much does it? How much time does it actually take to make one of those elaborate cakes? Like one of my favorites recently was the um, wedding trunk cake. It was a tree trunk because there were lumberjacks. Like how tree long trunk. does something yeah, like yeah, that? Yeah. How a long does that actually take? So, you know, we see it We see it in 20 minutes get done, but what does it really take for that cake to come together? Well, again, it could take anywhere from four hours to three days. I mean, depending on how elaborate the cake was. Right. The tree trunk, I think, took me about eight hours to do the whole thing, which it wasn't like the, the most complex cake out of all the cakes that we've ever done. Right. Um. To, you know, I've been working on this cake this week, which is a fire-breathing dragon. 
<laughs> and I've been working for three days just on the mechanics of it. I, I mean, I haven't put any cake on it, but the wings are going to move, and it's. I, I hooked up a, uh, a flamethrower in its mouth, and it's going to shoot like 20-foot flames at its wow. mouth. That's so insane. That, <laughs> That is insane. You yeah, know what so that's stuff that takes more time. What I love about the show is when you first sit down with the clients and, 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 and you just go back and forth to get a feel for them and what kind of cake. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I was wondering. Oh, definitely. Uh, Rebecca's got a big birthday, a big milestone birthday coming up uh, this December. And I thought maybe we could do this. Thank you for throwing it out there. Uh -huh. So I was just wondering if maybe you could pretend what? we're sitting down and you would. What would you ask me? About what kind of cake we right. get for Rebecca here. But the first thing I would say is, hey, you know, so I would say to you, you know, are you doing any sort of a theme? Or is there, a, you know, where is the party? What's the kind of venue that well, you're throwing in? Is you, I think is it's it a more celebration formal? also of her being in radio. Yeah, I love radio. Anything to do with radio, microphones, headphones, stuff like that, honestly. All right, so definitely you could do, I would do a radio microphone and maybe the headphones sitting on top of of a cake I think that's kind of easy maybe we could just take your head like you know coming out of a cake that's got you know like you're talking into the mic and, and you got the headphones on um, you could do a collage of your story through radio or the evolution of radio trying to like have an old fashioned radio with like a boom box and stuff and you, know, you could there's so many different plays you could take on radio you could put records you could put um, CDs um tapes. I mean, you could put the evolution of music and radio, you know, coming through to the people. It's just a matter of what you like. Hey, uh, hey, there it is. Bada hey. bing, bada boom. Done deal. <laughs> hey, he nailed it. That would be totally there exactly what I love. I've always wanted to ask you, is there any cake ever that someone had an idea for and came to you with that you turned away that you said, I'm sorry, I can't do that? We never say no. Wow. Ever. That's awesome. Gravity is if, if, if it's gravity defined, we figure out a way to make it where it's not going to, you know, fall over. So where there's a will, there's a way. I believe in this world that I'm a true believer in it. When you set your mind to something, you can figure it out. There you go. And I we see. actually were fighting over the dragon. They didn't want to make the wings move. And I said, well, it's going to breathe fire. How can we not make the wings move? And it took an extra two days to do it. But, hey, we're doing it. It is what it is. Hey, that's awesome. Are you? Are just celebrities hit you up? Do you find that a lot more celebrities are, are reaching out to the cake boss saying, "Hey, I want you to do this for me"? Sometimes, I mean, look for me, celebrity, regular person. Um, I, I love making cakes for people, and I love challenging myself and my team. So um, we we make cakes for celebrities who are awesome, and it's great. But I would have as much fun making it for little Johnny's sixth birthday. To me, it's all good. There you go. Because you know what? He's down to earth like that. Yes. That's why. Yes. This is why we love you. This right. is why you have Astro, that's why. so much success. <laughs> By the way, your wife, Lisa, we is beautiful. You guys. All right. So Send her my love. <laughs> new season. Is there any surprises in the new season starting? Um, More of, I don't know if there's like off the wall surprises. You'll just see like my business growing, my family growing. Um, You know, the cakes are getting crazier the norm of my life you know i mean it's just it, it is what it is it's what people come to love there you go it's just like that it's buddy v come on <laughs> is this is this fire breathing you dragon cake it. gonna be on tv the fire breathing that's, dragon that's, that's season nine that's season eight well, there you go. Wow. I'm telling you, they're ready planning stuff. That's cool. You got to plan things ahead. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, man. Uh, we buddy, never stop filming. Good luck with the new season. Uh, it kicked off last night on TLC. We'll be watching. Cake Boss is back, and he is the boss. And uh, we love you, man, because you have a great heart, man. And, and I just want to let all my fans in Texas know how much I love them and appreciate them. And they are so good to me in my bakery in Dallas. I can't wait to do more, and I can't wait to see them. Buddy V, ladies and gentlemen, Excellent. the King Boss. Thank, Thank you so you. much for being with us, bro.